Didn't you already talk to mom? Why is she like that again? She has lots of old classmates here, you know that. She can just pick up the phone and she will know all about your hospital. But she just can't keep theorizing like that. Talk to her again for me, okay? It is hard to explain the situation between you and Oyang. I've tried, I'm out of ideas. Why don't you meet with Ling Ling, get mom to settle down? Then you can worry about you and Oyang. My business with Oyang will be fine soon enough. Just wait and see. Bye now. Okay. Hobo. Yes? There's something I don't understand. Uh. Why do you two want to marry? Isn't there a problem with that? What if... And I mean what if. When I die, she'll be a widow. You don't get it. If left undone, you can't accept it. I can't accept it. Neither can she. I've always regretted not marrying her sooner. Ask what love is and the answer is life and death. Bring me my jacket, will you? When Chuan was leaving yesterday, he said their problem would be solved soon, and he's asking you for more time. Have I not given them enough time? And now he wants more? <sighs> he never listens to his mother. And none of you ever give me peace of mind. We just do what you say. Ah. So your mistakes are all my fault, is that right? I don't think anyone is wrong. Especially with this. Chuan isn't wrong. He's always been like that. Once he sets a goal, he has to complete it. He insisted on going to work in the U.S. You saw how hard he worked for it. Now his goal is Oyang. He'll see it through the end. It's fine to be persistent. All I'm saying is that he chose the wrong goal. You have to make sure something is worthwhile first. I don't want to see my son with his world revolving around a girl. All right, that's enough. I'm late to meet someone. Who? Oh. Mom. Mom. I've only used this oil for a couple of days. Where did it all go? Oh, I used it. <laughs> Afterwards, I felt my skin become smoother. <laughs> Mom, you're always getting prettier, and now you're stealing my cosmetics? You don't want me to. Uh, then buy me a set. It's fine. Of course I don't mind. I'll buy you a set so you can use this one for now, okay? Oh, those are your words. I'm waiting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ling's father is a colleague of Shen's father. A few years after they went to the U.S., Ling Ling's whole family moved there as well. Ling Ling and Chuan grew up together, so you can say that they are childhood friends. Auntie, I don't understand. Why are you telling me all of this? Ling 
Ling Ling has lots of shortcomings. She's lazy and passive. Her studies were never strong. And her ambitions are silly. Her biggest wish was to marry Cheng Ching Chuan and be a full-time housewife. The truth is, I never really liked her. But now that I think about it, I think that this kind of girl will make the best housewife. So you think that Ching Chuan and I aren't right for each other? You're opposed to us? You've probably heard this from Chuan and his sister. I actually think quite highly of you, Oh Yang. I've heard I was like you when you were young. During this trip back, if you two had insisted on staying here, I plan to compromise. Actually, there are lots of... You see, there are good chances here, but I'm disappointed. There are lots of problems in our lives. Ones that we can't solve right at this instant, but we can't run from them. Almost every couple has their own problems, and you know that. We can't sacrifice marriage just so we can avoid problems with them. Am I right about that? Do you understand? Auntie, I don't understand. Do you want us to break up or something? Or do you want us to get married? I think you're a smart girl. And I hope you'll give me a satisfying answer. Hello? Hi, Uyo. Where are you? I don't feel like watching a movie. Huh? Why? What's wrong? Is it me? No reason. I just don't want to. Hello? Right now, he's pretty stable. I suggest mm -hmm. sending him home, okay? Mm -hmm. Go fill out the form. Hey, Uyang! Hey, what are you doing here? Didn't you take the day off? Just you two? Yeah. Uh-huh. I was worried, so I came back. Wait a minute. Oh Young means she's worried about you and Dr. Wang. Huh? Hey. What the heck? Why are you spaced out? Was I spaced out? Yeah. Did you see me space out? If you didn't see it, then it didn't happen. Got nothing to do? Go. Go to the lab. See if the reports are finally in. Uh. Don't grunt at me. Go! <laughs> Young, are you okay? Okay then, you look troubled just now. I thought something was wrong. Because if there is, don't keep it inside. If you need someone to talk to, come to me. I'll always be here for you. You know that, right? Do you think Shen Ching Chuan and I are a good match? That again? Cheng Zhen, have you seen? Hmm? Oh, you guys should chat. What is it, Tuya? Didn't we agree to watch a movie? But you're here. You're free right now? We should talk then. Your mom talked to me. She told me about the childhood friend you had named Ling Ling. Don't listen to my mom. I've just known Ling Ling for a long time, like a sister. She also told me we can't just stay like this. We're causing more issues. Huh? What's that mean? Does she want us to break up or get married? I asked her that too. What did she say? She didn't say anything. All right, forget about it. It's clear what she really means. It's either we get married, or we have to break up.
Is that her final ultimatum? What do you think? Is there a chance we'll get married? And soon? Regardless of whether there is, believe me, you're the only one for me. I came back from the U.S. just for you. If you're willing, I'd marry you right now. My mother can be very forceful sometimes, but she's right about this. A lot of problems can be solved after marriage. So if I don't agree to marry you, Ching Chuan, you'll never get married? Correct. I'll never marry anyone else. All right, you make it sound so easy. If I were to marry you now, would you do it? I would. Wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I? Oh, really now? Yeah. Seriously. Of course I'm serious. How could I not be? Hello, ER. You're Cheng Jun, right? How's that Yang Jishua doing? Oh, uh, Director, I really don't know, but I doubt it would have changed that much. Where's the Dean right now? Is he there beside her? <laughs> Dr. Chung, that was pretty stupid. How can you hang up on the Dean's wife? I'll tell you, in this situation, there is no Dean's wife, only a doctor and his patient. How is there no Dean's wife? Wait, tell me again. I didn't get that. Don't worry about it. In your brain, half is water, half is flour, and when you think, you get paper mache. So don't bother trying. <sighs> Dr. Chung, please don't joke around. I think I've improved. Much less water than before. It seems like it, but you just have more flour. For the rest of your life, I think you'll be either adding more water or flour. Of course, some people do that their whole lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Yes, that's it. Here. Doctor, can you take a look at my daughter? Hello, ma'am. I need you to line up first and get a number. There's so many of them. I don't have time. She was up all night coughing. It might be pneumonia or something. But that's our regulation. You have to line up it's first. It's okay. I have a moment to spare. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Open wide. Ah, there's a good girl. Okay, again. Ah, there's a good girl. Let's give you a listen. Just a hey, second, little okay? Girl. Don't move. Hmm. It sounds pretty normal. She's not coughing now, so there's no rush. Just take a number. We'll call you as soon as we can, all right? Okay, thanks, doctor. Mm. Dad, you came all this way? My granddaughter's sick. How could I not? And what kind of mother are you? So you bring her to a place like this? Will you just look around you? There's so many people. If she's not sick, she will be. Is this a proper hospital? What are you looking at? Let's go. What a jerk. Did you hear that? This is a proper hospital. Otherwise, why would there be so many people? Shut up for once and you'll live. Just take care of yourself. Don't bother with others. Uh, hey, Dr. Chung. Dr. Chung, do you think it's time I should add water or flour? Looks like there's gonna be trouble. Shut your mouth, okay? Oh, so you really did stay. How is she? What are you staring at? All right, all right. We'll talk about it at home. Not here in front of everyone, all right? Now, haven't you always liked making private matters public? When did you become so sensible? Wait! Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, yeah. 
okay? What's up? I'm getting married. <gasps> what? Uh... Well, don't you think it's a good idea? Well, I... I think you should be careful. I am being careful. I think it's... It's a... A good idea. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Hey, what, what, what just happened, man? How should I know? Dr. Chong, yeah? I've been here so long and I've never seen the Dean's face so grim. This looks like trouble. If it's good, it's not bad. If it's bad, so sad. We'll see, I guess. Hey, didn't I say you should just let others be? Weren't you listening at all? Wait, Wajow. What are you trying to do, huh? You don't honestly think that she's like this because of me, right? Li Lanying, could you for once in your life just criticize yourself? Now, if I say that Yang Shui Wa is like this because of you, then she is. Now, what do you think? If it were not for your tricks, would she be here where she is now? Because truly in this crime, you and I are both culprits here. Huh. Chao Bojo, it's true that you were boyfriend and girlfriend once, but you married me, and no one held a gun to your head. It's been 30 years. Do you really want to disown your family now? Is this what you All want? Right. Okay, okay, okay. You don't have to say anything. Li Lan Ying, I am divorcing you and marrying Yang Shui Wa. What's that? What did you say? Divorce me? And you'll marry her? Huh. Let me ask you, Chu Bo Zhao. What are you thinking? It won't happen! Keep dreaming! Divorcing at this age. What? Ouyang and Shen Xing Chuan are getting married? That's pretty mm -hmm. sudden. Yeah, I know. When Ouyang just came up and told us, Dr. Chung and I were dumbfounded. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just think it's kind of weird, you know? Don't you remember? They were just fighting recently. And now they're getting married? You think it'll work out? Mm. I think they're moving too fast. Well, I big think news. that... Big news, big news, big news. Really, I was just organizing stuff at the nurse station and guess what I heard? What is it? Dean Q and Li Lan Ying are getting divorced. What? Huh? Wow, two people are getting married, while two are divorcing. Who's getting married? Oh Yang and Dr. Shen. But doesn't that mean that you've lost all hope? What in the world are you talking about? I gave up a long time ago. So don't worry about me. Go on, tell us what you heard. Oh, so the other day, Dean Q told Li Lan Ying he was divorcing her and a couple of nurses overheard, and now everyone knows about it. Well, apparently now, Dean Chu's leading a peasant revolt. He has been oppressed for so long, and now he's finally making a struggle for his own eternal happiness. Wait a second. Why are you so glad Dean Q's getting divorced? Hmm. Director Lee does seem kind of domineering, but divorcing at this age will crush her. I've heard that they don't have kids. You see, for a man to divorce, it's not so bad. But once a woman divorces, it's different. It's all over. There's no going back. And... There's no hope. For one to be able to know the past, one should look at he who suffers. And to know about the future, look at the one who acts. In one phrase, what goes around simply comes around. And what do you mean by that? You see, you haven't been here for very long. So you don't know what Director Lee has done. But if you did know that, you'd feel sorry for Dean Chu. Just for being married to her for so long. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, what has Director Lee done to him? Ah, come on, you don't have to worry about the details. If Dean Shu can make it all the way to this point, then he must have come around. With his status and identity, then surely a divorce is going to have some degree of impact on his reputation and people will talk mm. about him. But if he really weren't serious, then he wouldn't do it. That's my opinion. Makes sense. If that's all true, then this means it's really happening? Hey, whether or not they divorce doesn't have anything to do with us. You guys are all young. Don't meddle. Just keep your mouth shut, and don't talk about it at all. Do you understand? Well, even if we don't, everyone else will. Well, now that's really their problem. And if you talk, then it's your problem. Now this time, listen to me. You should just listen to me, huh? Fine. <sighs> hey, this time, listen to me, hmm? Oh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs>
Can you faint? <laughs> if it doesn't work, they'll just give me a shot, and you know that I hate needles more than anything. No, they won't. Maybe an IV, though. What? An, an IV involves a needle. It's the same thing, man. I guess they will, then. I can't do it. I'm leaving. All right. So can you faint? Yeah. This looks like a pretty good time. <laughs> hey, hey! Doctor! Doctor! <laughs> All done? Waiting for Ouyang? Uh -huh. Hey, what's up with you guys? I heard Ouyang say you're getting married. That's kind of sudden, huh? Uh, we both just kind of agreed. Hmm. I think it's good. No use putting it off. That's true. Don't let anyone else know yet. We still need approval from our parents. <laughs> I can't control the small-scale broadcast. But don't worry. I talked to them. And I guarantee you the news won't spread too fast. Oh, hey there. Dr. Shen's been waiting. Come on. See you around. Right. Congratulations. Thanks. Hmm. Hey, wait! What's going on? We were just talking and then he passed out. I couldn't wake him. Okay, follow me. Come on. <laughs> what do we have here? I'm not sure yet. So what are you guys? We're besties. So how did this happen? We were just chatting, and then he just passed out. See, he's got a bruise on his head there. Has he ever mentioned any kind of discomfort? Well, according to him, he's just uncomfortable everywhere. Well, for one, there's his stomach, the other is his chest, and then his heart just became messed up. And then it was about his hand, his shoulder, and also his neck. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, his brain as well. Oh. Is his lifestyle consistent? What consistency? It's just a total mess. No consistency at all. If I may ask, what's his profession? He's a writer. Oh, no wonder then. Hmm. Blood pressure? 150 over 100. It's kind of high. I'll take a sample. Go get a number and pay the fee, all right? Uh, but doctor, could we skip the blood test and do the urine test? Skip a blood test? You can't do that. We'll need both, okay? But first, you have to get a number and pay. Cho Chong! Cho Chong! Hey, where is that guy? Hey, take him to fill out the paperwork. Sure, come with me, please. Well, uh... This is way too short. I'm part-time. Are you trying to kill me? This is just the bare minimum. To be honest, I even got rebuked for this. What then? Hello, Dr. Chung? Where are you? There's a patient. Get here quick. I'll be there. There's a patient. I gotta go. We'll talk later, okay? Wait! Uh, Xiao Chong! <sighs> Dr. Chung, what are your orders? You're at work. So with or without orders, shouldn't you still be watching? All right, sorry. It won't happen again. One of your buddies is here. Huh? Keep an eye on him. My buddy? A writer. A writer? Hmm. His blood sample's right there. I want you to take it to the lab and mark it urgent. Understand? I need some sleep. Call me when it's ready, all right? Sure. Uyang. What is it? You really don't regret it? My mom pressured you to make a choice. If you're not ready or willing, don't force yourself. Well, it was time to make one. Why? Are you afraid of marriage? Why should I be afraid? I've been waiting for this day. Mm. How about I pick a time on the weekend for my mom to meet your parents? All right, I'm off then. Wow, <laughs> 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 
Oh, you're awake. Didn't I say no needles? You can't let me see blood. Did I not just faint at the sight of it? Uh -huh. I did, right? Uh. Then how could you allow me to... How's my color looking? It's good. You're not just saying that? Really? What were you doing here? I fell asleep. Which one of us is sick, huh? Oh, you are. If I'm sick, why are you sleeping? I fell asleep. I fainted, so you fell asleep? I pass out and you fall asleep. Are we still besties? <laughs> no, I... Do you remember the things I told you? Yes, I do. What are they? One, to stay in the hospital as long as we can and don't leave until we have to. Two, get a publisher to come. Three... A three... Do you want steamed buns? You just said three. So remind me. Soy milk? Tofu curds. Go buy it. But if you're laying here the whole time, then am I covering... Am I also having to cover the fees? That's pretty unfair. Not this time. Call the publisher. Oh, great. Now, if they don't pay, that means you don't leave. But wait then, if you don't leave, then how will you be able to write? And if you don't write, how will you pay me back when you owe me so much? Keep your voice down, will you? Why can't you look at the big picture for once, huh, Kwan? Once I finish the book, we'll have everything, all we need, all of the steam buns you can eat, and all the dumplings. So go, buy me some steam buns. So I guess that means I'm paying for those, right? Yes. Dr. Chang? Dr. Chang? <laughs> Dr. Chang? Oh. Hey, sun's up, right? Yeah. Has the report ready yet? Has been for a while. It looked okay. No problem? Take a look. Looks normal. Yeah. Here. Uh, uh, is really sick, and it's really bad. He's over at the Siwa Hospital, so send someone over to see him, okay? Yeah, 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 okay, okay. So bye. How was that? Mm, can't eat anymore, but it's so good. Hey, don't eat all of them. Save some for me. There's one more. Hey, stop, stop. It's Dr. Chung. Hello. Hello. How's he doing? He's still not awake? No, he's not. Mm-hmm. So is it terminal? How would it be terminal? The report's out. He's fine. He's fine? Really? But that's impossible. What? You hope he's not fine? <laughs> well... Is this work tiring or something? Oh, it's not just tiring. It's completely exhausting. Oh, how about his eating habits? He has no breakfast, sometimes no lunch, and if I don't even make him dinner, then he really won't eat. That's not good. If this goes on, anyone would give out. But look, Doctor, he's a writer, and they're really all like that. Oh, he's a writer? Has he written a lot? Uh, well, he used to do quite a bit, and he also happened to post some stuff online. People would tell him it's good, that's good. He wanted to be a writer and just had to, you see? So he just kept writing novels, poems, prose, a whole bunch of stuff, really. You probably haven't even read it, and he never finished them. Ah, uh, a subpar writer. He's not even subpar, he's just no par. Then someone got him to write some scripts, and he couldn't either. Then he thought of posting something online. That's when he got lucky. A publisher happened to like it, and they must have a loose screw and had him write a whole novel. <laughs> Sounds a lot like you, man. <laughs> then what? Well, so he wrote. He just started writing all day and all night. Then guess what happened? He just couldn't finish it. So he became like this. I see. Hear that, Mr. Ryder? That's you. That's your future self, man. That really worries me right now. Dr. Chang, you can't compare people like that. His skill is nothing compared to mine. 
The most important part of writing is talent. Hey, hey. you trying to say it's no talent, huh? Do you know me? Do you know me? You have no talent. I have talent. You hear me? I'm a writer. Remember, you're supposed to be sick. You're supposed to be sick from all that writing. Listen, Guan. This kid is a piece of trash. I know he's evil. You have to explain it to me. How are you more talented than me, huh? If you don't explain, then I'll make sure that I'll die in your arms. Oh, hey! Uh, mm -hmm. Doctor, please, huh? come here. Uh, all right. He's not just physically sick, he has problems in his mind. Uh -huh. Now, if you can't let him go, then you should just talk to him. Oh, come on. All right, all right. Uh, Xiao Chong, I have to give you a lesson. How can you talk to him like that? Just so you can feel special? Huh? Hey, hey, doctor. Just take it easy on the poor guy, all right? Besides, you're missing the point. It's mostly about talent. So you can ask him just how much he thinks he's more talented than I am. You brought this on. You explain it to him. Tell him how talented you really are. I just can't believe you, kid. How do you think you're more talented than he is? Too late, kid. It's too late to say anything. You have to tell me. Why are you more talented than I am? Just say it. Uh, uh, Mr. Liu, it's been a few hours now. Let's let the doctor rest for a bit. Sounds good? Let him go and reflect, okay? And maybe you can get some rest as well. Sounds good, right? Go ahead. Reflect. Reflect. All right, come on. Hey, let go of him. Let go of him. There you go. Quickly, run. Bye. Bye. That's enough. Please, that's enough. Come on. That's enough. Hey, what were you arguing with him for? Was it fun? Scholars scorn each other. It's always been like that. Occupational hazard. How did he get to be a writer? He held you there for four hours and you still haven't learned a thing, Chao Chong? Come on. You think you're a writer? Well, right now you're a doctor. And an intern at that. When you publish a book, then you'll be a writer, huh? That soon? See, there's my contact. Once I sign, I'm gonna be a writer. Bet on it. Miss Tang! Is the contract ready? Almost. It's close to what you asked for. Really? Wow. That's great. Let me see it. Come on. I will, but I need to see a patient first. A patient? One of our contract writers, Liu Yi Bai. Uh huh? Wait a minute. He's one of your contract writers? Yeah. Right. How is he doing? Not good. He's dying. Huh? Then what about the manuscript? Hey, hey, don't listen to him, all right? He's doing just fine. Just need some rest. He's inside. Go take a look. He scared me. Thanks, Dr. Chung. He's really fine? He's all right. He's just overworked. He needs a lot of rest right now. Can you just imagine all the pressure he's been under lately? Uh, I'll go take a look then. Right, right. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, did you see that? You said he was dying. And her first reaction was to ask about his manuscript. <sighs> Can you see how inhuman they are? Remember, if you ever collapse, have them bring you here. We'll take good care of you. After all, you know who to turn to, right? Oh, Miss Tang, hello. Hey. That was really fast. Mr. Liu? Mr. Liu? Mm. How are you feeling? Miss Tang. Just let me get up. Hey, Wait, don't easy, move, don't easy, move. Easy, easy Just Come relax. On. Relax, Stay just relax, please. Don't worry. Just lay back, okay? How did he get so sick? I don't know. The doctor says he has to stay a while. What? Then what about the manuscript? Oh, really? Now, you and your manuscript. Just look at a manuscript. Come on. Come on out here. Let me talk to you. <laughs> don't go mentioning the manuscript. There's really no point right now. Tell me, how is he doing? Oh, actually, he's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with him. So then, why did... Well, you know, the fainting spell was real. And that's because he really panicked. But he's completely fine right now. The doctor even said that he can go home. But he simply won't. Why is that, then? Because he simply cannot finish the manuscript. You keep rushing him, so what can he say? And now he's lying here. He's got food. He doesn't have to write. And you cannot say anything. If you're really his friend, why are you telling me all of this? Because I'm trying to help the three of us. Now listen to me. First, 
I happen to be covering his expenses here. If he's here for a long time, then you might as well go ahead and just kill me. Now, second, if he continues to stay here, then he will never finish that book. It will simply be no good to him. And now, third, if he does not finish it, what are you going to be saying to your boss? You might just end up losing your job, right? So our priority here is not the manuscript. It's really about being able to get him out of here so that he can write, don't you agree? Then what can I do? For now, you should call the editor-in-chief. You should talk to him. Tell him to extend the deadline. Huh? Because otherwise, he'll fake sickness. For who knows how long a time he'll do it. Huh? So do it now. Huh? O okay, I'm I'll counting try. on you, all right? The editor-in-chief just agreed to extend it? What choice did he have? Forget him. Did you read it? No problem, right? I guess. I'll sign them. Don't torture me. Just sign it. All right, all right. So this means I've sold my soul. Here, this is a copy of the new one. One month extension. Thank you. I'm just curious if he'll sign. He will. How about I go along to help you? After all, he can't just stay here like this because we're really staffed for space at the hospital. That would be great. Thank you, Dr. Chung. Let's go. When you get home, you rest easy, all right? Don't stay up all night. Mm. Eat well. Got that? Uh -huh. and try not to skip meals. Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much. Uh, uh, that's all. <laughs> Don't thank me. The one you should thank is Miss Tang, okay? Oh, she took responsibility for you, so if you don't finish it in a month, then she'll be out of a job, all right? Uh -huh. I said if you don't finish it in a month, then she'll get fired, understand? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Tang, don't worry. I'll finish it within a month. <laughs> and if not, you'll just have to come back here. Just get the chief to extend it again. There's nothing he can do. Hmm. Am I that kind of person oh, now? Oh, no, no, not you. It's not you, Yibai. I'm just trying to console Thank her. you, but I don't need to be consoled. Never fear. Oh. I'll work hard. <sighs> That's all. Right. Yeah. Go get some rest. Okay. Okay, I'll okay. I'll go now. Just okay, bye. Bye. Let go already. Bye. Bye. Uh, <laughs> oh, and also, I, I forgot something very important. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Let's go now. <clears throat> When my book is published, I'll give you a copy. Oh, huh? Or or even two, if you like it so much. I'll even sign it for you, Doctor. Okay, okay. Then I'll wait for the good news. Great. Bye now. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> hey. Huh? I think that you should keep an eye on him. I'm really worried that he'll come up with something else. If I make him panic again, then what? Then it's a matter of your skill. But then, I won't be able to help you. I'll watch out. But Dr. Chung, thank you very much. Is it okay if I buy you dinner? Huh? Well, I'd really like to go, but right now, I'm chief resident. I can't leave the hospital. Then I will bring it here. How's that? That's way too much trouble. Well, I do have to come here often. You have one of our contract writers here now that I have to watch. Oh, yeah, that's right. But with Zhao Chong, don't hold back. Give him some pressure. <laughs> okay, I'll get it done for sure. Exactly. Anyway, it looks like reality and the realm of imagination are completely different. You know, before, in my mind, I actually thought that a novelist had to be <laughs> someone really special and not just anyone. But how can people release books so easily nowadays anyway, right? I mean, if someone like Yi Bai can release a book, then Xiao Chong can release one too. But the question is, will these books sell? Will people even Dr. read them? Dr. Chung, you are very uninformed. Hmm. You see, the book market is now like this. Good writers won't just write for anyone. At most, he'll even have to come up with a story. Then write an outline. If you want it, you have to show him the money. And then I'm sure he'll hire a ghostwriter to write a bunch of nonsense. And you can't change it. You have to print it like that. Might as well go for writers like Yibai and Xiao Chong. At least they try. Since you put it that way, you guys have it rough as well. That's for sure. Right. If that's all, then I should get going. Sure. See you next time. Right. See you then. Bye.